Hello, I'm Tim Mapes with the Shasta County Health and Human Services Agency with the latest installment of Shasta Matters. Here is what is going on. This flu season is turning out to be a nasty one, but there are some things you can do to keep from getting or spreading the illness. First, the flu shot. You can still get it. Flu vaccination is recommended for everyone six months of age or older but it is particularly important for those at higher risk of getting a severe flu virus, and that includes pregnant women, children under five years of age, the elderly, and people with certain medical conditions like diabetes, asthma, and heart disease. Even if the effectiveness of flu vaccine is limited this year, immunization can reduce illness severity and the likelihood of hospitalization. Those who show flu symptoms should contact their physician immediately to get tested and effective treatment promptly, if needed, which may include anti-influenza medications like Tamiflu. Tamiflu can also be used as a preventative measure for people at a high risk of flu complications. Also, stay home from work or school when you are sick. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or use an alcohol-based rub and avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Now, are you not sure if you have the flu or just a bad cold? Well, we have a guide to help you figure it out on our flu page. You can get there by going to ShastaHHSA.net. It is a new year and there are new regulations in place at all Shasta County HHSA campuses. In an effort to make the environment as healthy as possible for our clients and staff, there is no smoking anywhere on HHSA property, inside or out. We're aiming to keep everyone free from secondhand smoke. If you or a loved one wants help in quitting, just call 229-8467. We continue to work to change the minds about mental illness. If you or someone you love is living with a mental illness and struggle with how you can tell others about it, well, we have an event for you. I could be labeled as weak, incompetent, and too sensitive. People might talk behind my back. Some people could blame all my emotions on my mental illness. Employers might discriminate based on my diagnosis. I could gain a sense of community and belonging. I might be able to help someone who's going through the same thing. I'll feel relief that I don't have to keep it a secret. It's a really powerful way to fight stigma. There are many pros and cons to consider when deciding whether to tell someone about your mental health diagnosis. Get the tools and support you need to take control of your mental health story. Come to our free Becoming Brave training on disclosure. The training will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on January 27th at the Boggs Building on Breslauer Way. Lunch is provided and space is limited. That is all for this edition of Shasta Matters. We're always sharing great information on our social media platforms. Give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by searching for Shasta HHSA.